Hi there folks, so I've got a bit of a, a how-to video for you today. Uh, this is one concerning transfers. So transfers are something, or decals, or decals, or however you pronounce that word, are something that some people find a little bit difficult to do. Including myself, it is one of those things that I do struggle with. So I thought I'd show you how I do this. You can comment and tell me if I'm doing it wrong. Or you can follow this guide and take it as it comes, because it works for me and it seems to work for a lot of people and I've read a lot about it to see how it works but anyway um, what I've got are the shields from Maverick for the Pax Bosch Manica game um, I haven't painted these details on I've used transfers for these and as you can see the finish is quite good on those um, on the red one it kind of cracked a little bit this one's got quite a nice matte finish and then this one's got quite a glossy finish Okay. I'm going to explain how I did these and how you can avoid getting, say, a cracked finish um, and how you can get a matte finish. Stuff like that, really. Okay, so the transfers I'm using are supplied by uh, Maverick. Uh, they've been printed by Flags of War. You can check out the Flags of War website as well. I'll put it in the link below uh, along with the Maverick website. That will have... Um, the Maverick website will have these on it, the Flags of War website has got all sorts of other transfers that you can use. And obviously there's a lot, for example Games Workshop makes some, Forge World makes some, uh, your Airfix kits come with them, there's, there's loads of transfers out there. Um, the Maverick ones come in a variety of colours, I know most of the people watching this are going to be watching it from that point of view. So pick and choose which ones you want, obviously I've used a couple. But the ones I'm going to use today are going to be the deep red ones because these are going to go with on the uh, studio Pax Bosch Manica models from the Pax Bosch Manica box set. I've been meaning to do this for a while, so I thought I'd do it with you. Okay, so you're going to need your transfers. You're also going to need some micro set, so that's going to cost you about £3.50. You're going to need some micro sole, again, about £3.50. I got mine from a model shop, a chain of model shops in the UK called Antics. I'm sure these are very, very common. You'll be able to find them in most model shops or on the internet if you just type in Microsol and Microset. You're also going to need a small receptacle of water. You're going to need a craft knife of some description, very sharp one as well. Make sure it is sharp. Uh, you're going to need some tweezers and you're probably going to need a clean but old paintbrush. So I better get that out because I haven't got that out yet. Okay, so that's just a tatty old paintbrush that I'm going to use. Okay, that's everything you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need your models there too. So what I've got is a black undercoated shield from Maverick. Okay, you can buy these separately. So if it does go all wrong and you can't get the transfer off, you can always buy them again. So I've sprayed it black. I then recommend for these transfers at least, and not necessarily for all transfers, but for the Flags of War ones, to paint it with a very, very solid coat of white paint as well. That's just because these transfers are slightly see-through, um, so it will show up, and this makes it a lot more bright and vivid. So if you look, for example, on one I've already done, on the edges, it's nice and dark. On the actual uh, the lighter bits, obviously it is lighter there too. Um, that wouldn't happen if it was black. If it was black, it, it wouldn't work. So you do need to paint those white. Um, obviously some transfers are thicker and they have a very, very solid colour. But I think these actually look a little bit more natural than that. Anyway, so I am going to take this out of the packet. Okay, so I'm sorry this is quite a long video, but it's got to be. I want to show you every single step. Okay, so with these transfers, you actually get a guide on how to use them. Now it's a good guide, it all makes sense, but I did have to kind of trial and error, so I thought this video would help you, just because obviously when you're paying for transfers you want to get it right and you'd be able to use every single one. Okay, so these are the dark red transfers. What I need to do is cut out my transfers that I'm going to be using. Now what you want to do when you're cutting it you want to cut it as close as possible. If my head pops up in here, I'm very sorry. It's just because I'm trying to pay attention. So you want to cut it fairly close to the transfer. Okay. 
Okay, so now we've cut it out. As you can see, when it focuses, you do get a little bit of a white edge around it. You want this ever so slight. Some places I haven't got it, some places I have. This just allows for a little bit of where I've got it slightly wrong. Okay. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Get it as close to the edge as you possibly can, the edge of what you're doing. The reason being, especially on a surface, unlike this one, where it isn't going into a ridge or anything like that. So, for example, on a Games Workshop Space Marine shoulder pad, that transfer is going to go into the, uh, the centre of an empty space. So the edges of the transfer, um, you want to kind of hide the fact it's a transfer. Whereas if you can see the clear edge of the transfer, you'll quite often get a sort of an edging that looks very unnatural, unless you're very, very, very good at kind of disguising that. Okay, so I recommend cutting as close to the transfer as you possibly can. Okay, right, so the first thing we're going to do, now some people disagree with me here, others completely agree. What I do is I dip that in there for a bit. Okay, I let it soak up that water and eventually it will just be able to slide away. Now whilst it's doing that, it shouldn't take long by the way, you get your microsole, so that is the one with the red logo. Open it up. And the microsole is a solution that we're going to paint onto the surface of this. And what that does is it gives the transfer something to adhere to. Okay? Paint that on, and it'll also it'll when you lay the transfer on, it'll uh, go into the actual transfer, and um, yeah, and stop it going. So as you can see here, you probably watched that fall away as I was talking. Our transfer can actually be picked out. Now I'm wiping it. A little bit just to get some of that moisture off because it's probably a little bit too much but we sort of manhandle it a bit and I lay it down just like that making sure it fits so it's slipping and sliding around a little bit at the moment that's okay Okay, so there we go, I've just laid that down there. Okay, now these transfers have a tendency to peel up, some do. Okay, obviously when you're applying transfers, you do have to be fairly patient with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry a bit, and then I'm going to put a layer of microsol on over the top as well. Okay, or I might even stick it underneath. So it's got something to kind of stick to. In fact, I can probably do that now. So you only need a little bit. Putting it on the top as well. Because Microsol is an alcohol and um, as far as I'm aware, you can tell me I'm wrong, I'd love to know, but I'm pretty sure the alcohol um, softens the transfers. And that allows it to stick to the surface a little bit better. Okay. So what we want to do, we don't want there to be any major air bubbles underneath. 
but it's quite hard with these ones not to get those. So I'm going to leave it there. Okay. I'm going to come back to you. Well, to you in a second. For me, it's going to be about an hour. Okay, I'm going to leave this for an hour to do its own thing, dry out, and I'm going to come back and see what it looks like. And I'll see you then. Okay, welcome back. So I have left this to kind of set for an hour. Um, but what I did find out is that you're not meant to do Microsoft first. You are meant to do Micro Set first. So put the set on. So paint it onto your shield. Then put your transfer on. And then paint over the top of the transfer with Micro Set. Um, you'll probably need a couple of layers of Micro Set to really get it flat. Because as you can see, it is sort of peeling up along here. And you've got some kind of air bubbles and it's peeling along there. And that's just because that's the way it is. I'm trying to get it to curve over. It's going against its natural kind of um, what way of being. I don't really know what to say. But yeah, the way it normally lays because normally it's flat. So we want to leave it to set and then just keep painting a layer on every kind of uh, 20 minutes to half an hour, I'd say. So if I do one now. What it should do, it should um, soften the top of the decal. Or transfer, yeah. Okay, so now we've done, I've done two actually, but anyway, now we've done some layers of micro set, it's starting to, let's have a look, there we go, it's starting to actually um, set on the surface, as you can see, it's uh, adhering to the surface a little bit better, but you've still got some, let's get that to focus, sorry about this, yeah, you've still got some lumps and bumps here and there. So what we're doing here is what we really need the Microsoft for. So Microsoft is basically a stronger version of Microset. Um, it's, I think, I don't know. It's going to melt uh, the surface just a little bit more. Or not melt, but soften the surface a little bit more. If you put too much on too quickly, your transfer can crack if it's quite thin like these ones. Um, thin transfers are better though. So thin layers of your Microsoft are going to do the job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building up those layers of Microsoft and I'll be back with you to show you the finished product before finishing it with paint. See you in a sec. Okay, so I think that's pretty much done. Um, all I do now is obviously paint the edges, paint the inside bit, and then what I do is, because obviously you get a little white line running around the edges and things like that, I just get a, um, a sort of, like a thin brown, like very very dark brown wash, and I kind of soak it up into those edges. And what you end up with, so this is the dark red one, but on a light red one, it ends up looking like this. So you can kind of see just slightly round the edges, especially on that edge, you get like a thick shadow, which is that wash that I've made doing that. Okay, so that is basically it guys. If you've got any questions, do pop them down below. If you'd like to find out more, like I said, just ask some questions. If I've done anything wrong, apart from obviously using Microsoft before Microset, obviously try and use the Microset first, uh, do let me know as well. If there is anything else I've done wrong, please do let me know. Okay, so cheers for watching. Thank. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.